Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel from Woodworking with Dash. And a friend of mine asked me to make a, this great looking tea box. And look at the inside. It's got three compartments, chamomile tea, green tea and English, English breakfast. So, and each compartment holds about oh, half a packet of tea bags I suspect. It just pops down it. It's made of six different timbers. The main timber is Kari. Uh, Western Australian curry, very hard timber. So come on the journey and we'll make this box. Good looking box isn't it guys? Come up well. It's time to go select my timbers that I'm going to be using for the tea box. The best part about it, I can make all the decisions. This is the part I like. I'm surrounded by all my timber. This is a great place to be. I put it on this one which is curry, which is a reddish timber but it's not that red, it's all it's been oiled. So it will, it will come up a bit lighter. Right back in the chair now. I've got my timbers. I've got six different timbers going into this box. I've got the center, which is going to be one of the lids. The blackwood, which I'll glue up. That's another one of the lids. Same with the jarrah. The teak is going to be inlaid into the box itself. And this is the kari for the box. I'm also going to do some laser work on this job too. I'm going to laser in the three different tees and maybe the girl's name into the um, into the front of the box, I think. Yeah, that might look good. Uh, the first job is to get all your timbers into a size that are workable. You do that first. Okay guys, I'm just cutting them down now into uh, the slabs so I can work with them. It's easier that way. A car is so hard. Okay guys, I've got everything what I call slabbed up, but they're easier to go through the machines and I, everything's individual. So I've got the three tops here, the jarrah, the center, and the black and the blackwood. I decided I'd cut a new bit of blackwood for that. So they're slabbed up, ready to machine. The Occam's 25 mil, so I cut that down the guts, but the inside box is only gonna be about 10 mil. The three boxes, so there's a fair amount of material in this box. That's the teak for the infill, and this is the kari for the outside of the box. And I've got a bit of ply there for the bottom. Okay, just putting them, putting them through the thickness now to plane them all up. And that thickness that works quite well. It's got a helical head on it. And just docking them roughly to size. So they're in a workable, um, workable size for me. That fence works well, but I just got to adjust the uh, stopper, and it's a perfect, perfect size. And here I am cutting, cutting the 45 degree angle on them. This is the mitered lid, mitered all the way around. You can hear how, how the saw struggles with the kari. This kari is bloody hard. As you see when I tried to uh, do the miters, the saw was struggling a bit. See the burn marks? You don't see them, but damn it, it's hard stuff. Anyway, we'll do the glue up now. Put the bottom in and wait till it dries. Put the glue up. Another cold, rainy day in Melbourne, as you can listen by the rain on the roof. There. Well, that's Melbourne for you. Four seasons in one day. But this car is so hard. I looked, I looked a lot like the Occam when, when I planed it up because it was stained red. I thought it would be redder than this, but it's not. Now I remember the pinky colour. We've been liking our field trips. We need to do a better job of the filming, but I'm getting it. It's all fun for me. It's a day out for me too, which is good. Gets, gets me out of the shed for a while, which is good too. Put this one in. Oh. Pull this one up. 
Here we go, here we go. Don't start singing then. You, you lose all your subscribers if you start singing. Oh, so me. No. Cool, 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 baby, cool. Another day, another box. You guys have mitered all the way around the top. Now I've got to cut the teeth for the uh, insert around, around the top. So that's going to be cut perfect now. Okay, so, okay guys, I'm just putting the, um, the surround through the um, thickener. And now we're mitering them to go around the teak. Just taking a little bit at a time, just so I can, I can get them perfect. Okay guys, I've got the two long surrounds cut. I, I like to glue them on first. Where do we glue up? First glue up. As I said, I like to do these in two bits. Do the long one first. They seem to come up better. The joints seem to come up better. What do we mean? I'm using the old cramps again. But the bitches had to be, they get glue on them. I can't bloody work them. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Probably is. Okay guys, this is all cramped up now. And while it's, and while it's going, we'll go on another field trip. This time to the NGV. Andy Warhol, the father of Pop Art. He's, some of his work's really cool, I like him. And this is Camille Pizarro. I think it's called uh, Boulevard Montmartre. It's in Paris. Look at that turn of the century painting. You just feel like you're looking down over the boulevard, don't you? In a, in a rainy, hazy day in Paris. Magnificent. This is a picture of the English, old English army somewhere. I forget where it is now, but mate, look, look at the expressions on these soldiers' faces. They uh, get all, all, all in a line. It's just a magnificent picture. And this is the uh, picture gallery. It's a huge room and there's so many pictures on the wall. You can spend hours in there. And some of the pictures are magnificent. So it's such a big room too. It's huge. You wait to a pan around. This is done before there were cameras, of course, when when the, the only way you can get a scene is to paint it. There's no cameras in uh, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th century. Look at that. Look, look how big this gallery is. It's huge. I mean, coming up on, on one of my favourite pictures in the whole of the gallery. It's a very unusual subject matter, but it's so powerful, this picture. It's called Anguish. It's a sheep guarding its dead lamb from the crows. Mate, that's unusual subject matter. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed our visit to the NGV. Living in Melbourne, I am blessed with a lot of museums and art galleries. And what, a, what great spaces they are. Visit them as much as possible. Alright guys, back to the box. Okay guys, this is, we're doing these lit, the small tea boxes now. You like my uh, little uh, 45 degree sled? Works well, works really good. Move with the table, and then we can work well on it. Okay guys, you see how I use my my angle thread, my uh, 45 degree thread to, to 
cut all the uh, small pieces of the tea boxes. This is a lot safer and it comes up a lot better too. I like it. I like it a lot. Now we'll just put the groove in. We should have done that before but I forgot. Put the bottom and then we can just tape all them together. They don't need box clamps. And then by the time we've done that, the, uh, the lid will be dry and I'm going to take it out of the cramps. You've noticed I've had a haircut? Pretty dapper, eh? Yeah. Yep, no. Okay. Alright, we're getting there now. Just putting together the tea boxes with no need to uh, cramp them, just, just tape them all up and they'll be fine. I'll put a bottom in it. So they end up to be about 75mm square on the inside. Which is not big, but it's big enough. I've got to put the, the lids on it too. So anyway, we're getting there now. Just like a normal box layout, but small. I hope you're all enjoying our um, field trips to the NGV and to the um, State Library. And I've got some other plans. Yeah, uh, anyway, just good to get out of the shed. You know, we're stuck in the shed all the time. You become shed bound. Yeah. But in this time of COVID, maybe that's not such a bad thing. Anyway, it's all good. Don't know about you, but I'm having a ball. Okay, putting the, the lids of the tea boxes through the plane now to dress them all up. There you go, the, the blackwood, the centre. And the chair. Okay guys, I've cut the lid for the tea boxes. The Blackwood, the Santa and the Jarrah. I found it easier to fit them before I put the top lid on. Don't know why, but it seemed easier. So the, they're the boxes and I've, and I've rebated the uh, back of the uh, lid so it fits into the tea box. They're one of the tea boxes. Fits in on that and now I'll put a, a 45 degree chamfer on the edge. Just to break it up. So we're getting there now. Using the small router to do the chamfer. And cutting the angle, the 45 degree angle on the lid. And just feeding it, just take a little bit more off. I go back with the forwards fitting the lid to make sure it fits properly. Okay guys, the, uh, the lid's mounted in now. Kind of great. So that's all mounted. Three-way mounted on the, on the edge. And all I've got, got to do now is to glue and to crap that in. And let that dry. And then the um, and then tomorrow we can do the splines. So we're getting there now. Cool. Time, time to take the box out of the cramps. Yeah, looking good. And then and the next thing we're going to do is uh, put the splines in. We're almost there. Okay, guys. The motor box is all done, the glorious day in the shop. Okay, I've, I've uh, inserted all the splines and sanded them down. Now we just got to round over all the joints. And there we go, using the, uh, the small router again to do the round over. I like using the small router that they're easier to handle rather than the big ones. Just take your time. Guys, very uh, tactile. Okay, guys, you see how I back cut the round first? That's so you, you don't uh, splinter it out. The lid off now to 55 mil. Cutting the lid, cutting the lid off now. There you go. So I'll sand those black. We're getting there now. I've cut the lid, I've cut the uh, lid off. They come up well enough. I'll put it for the sander. To flatten it right off, and they're the three tea boxes. 
in the box. I can have a good dinner. The next step I've got to do, I've got to layer the tea names in the top of the boxes there. And also the, the girl's name on the front of the box. This is an 80 watt laser, a very powerful machine, and worth great. It's only on about 40% power. We're just about done. I've lasered Andrew's name into the front of the uh, box. I've uh, checked out for the hinges. These are all the, all the small tea boxes. They come out great, didn't they? all the names in them so they, they, they go into the box Bing, like that and you breakfast and so there were the boxes in the uh, tea box this is the lid sand spray and hinge and we're done yay We're all finished. Look at that. Come out great, didn't it? I, I lasered Andrew's name in the front of it. And they, and they are the tea boxes. Damn, it came out good, didn't it? Really good. She, I think she's going to be happy with that. Damn. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Ring the bell. You know what to do. I'm looking for subscribers. We're all having fun, I hope. Okay, see you in the next video, guys. Where we'll probably be making another box.